good morning from Skopje. And in this morning, I'm going to walk you around to share with you some of the most attractive places in the city. And right now, we are already in one of the main places to visit, where you can be able to hang out. It is also the trading center of the city since at least since from 12th century. So it is very important. This place is one of the best places you can afford to miss. You can walk through, you can walk down this way or this way, but I will go through this way. Yeah, there are a lot of like restaurants. Yeah, it's a lot of restaurants here. This is the old bazaar. And it's also very colorful in the night. And uh, it's where you can be able to get your food and also make some shopping. There are bakeries and also souvenir shops, everything. And one of the things I found in this old bazaar, I don't know if you are a black man or any a black person, be careful. Uh, at the entrance of the street, there is a shop over there. Uh, there are some guys that, like originally from Albania, I don't know, they acted so stupidly. I think this is the third time I'm coming. If you can hear the, the whistling, I acted so stupidly. So you have to be very careful when you are in this city. Some racist behavior, discriminatory behavior. So you have to be careful. They are not, most of them, uh, I don't know, maybe foreigners who just came here to live for some time because I found the Macedonians pretty much very open minded and very simple people. But hey, sometimes you, you can run occasionally to some bad ads. This is the third time the guy is doing that nonsense to me. Yesterday was very tough and the girls that was with me, I was making videos with some girls and they shouted, they insulted him. And I guess he saw me now again and uh, he's whistling with his crew. I tried to, to test me. So he'll find out that I'm not that kind of person. So he know better now. It's because now he's in the midst of uh, his friends. He tried to whistle me, but they cannot come on to me. So you have to be careful when you are here. You can occasionally run. Hello. How are you doing? Cool, and you? I'm fine, thank you. Where are you from? I'm from India. India? Oh, what are you doing here? Well, I'm just traveling. I live in France. You live in France? Yeah, I live in France, but I'm traveling uh, the Balkan countries. I live in France as well. Oh, where in France do you live? I live near Paris. Oh, I live in a city called Toulouse. Toulouse? Toulouse from the south. I have to come to Toulouse. Oh, for sure. I'll be my guest. It'll yeah. be really nice. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I was planning, before the coronavirus, uh -huh. I was planning to visit there. I bought all the ticket. Everything yeah. was cancelled. Oh shit, that's so, so sad. I decided to learn, okay, continue traveling to country to country first yeah. for now. But I have to really explore France as well. Yeah, I think you should. It's, it's, Toulouse is really beautiful and it's really... That is what they told me. Yeah, it's very people, interesting. People are really welcoming and uh, it's, a, it's a great city. No, and France is good. You cannot compare France yeah. to most uh, uh, that's countries. True. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. You cannot <laughs> compare. Like someone just comment on my, uh, uh, on my comment section that, hey, how, uh, what is like living in France as a black man? Man, hey, what do you, what do you think? That is the, the best experience you can ever had uh, from your home. That's true. Uh, yes, everybody have their own flaws, but you cannot compare, hey, why can you compare Ferrari or uh, 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 Lamborghini with Fiat? <laughs> you understand me? I know, I get I, I don't, it. I, I don't totally understand that. I don't even want to make mention. Yeah. France is the, you, France, you compare France to like some countries I passed through, and the behavior, you cannot compare Lamborghini with Fiat, guys. So stop asking that kind of weird uh, I hope question. you have a great trip. Thank you, have man. Fun, man. And you, uh, you're enjoying France? Everything is okay for you as it's an Indian? Right. Uh, yeah, it's completely fine. I've been there living for like uh, two years now. Two uh, years? As Good. a student and as working as well. So it's been great experience for me. Ah. Uh, I'm, I love it. Uh, people, the food, the place, mm. everything is perfect. Wow, so, yeah. nice. Cool. Let me give you my YouTube channel so you see oh, my video. Sure. Yeah. So, this, you can see your videos, that is it.
Perfect, man. Yeah, I'll show you. Every country has its playlist. Wow, that's so cool. Yes. It's really, really nice. Mm -hmm. Wow, interesting, really interesting. Thank you, man. Share I'm with your friends. For sure. And I'm going to visit India someday as well. Uh, be my guest. Welcome, welcome. Please. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Inside you. there is my Instagram. With that name, you can get me also in Instagram. Perfect. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Ciao. <laughs> nice meeting you. <laughs> yeah. So, hey, this is it. Let's continue the journey and at the same time run into some, you know, uh, cool people to have a spontaneous chat to share with us more about their city and life in the country as a whole so hey this is part of what you can get you know i'm honest guy i'm very direct on my approach but i'm preparing you i'm not here to like bad mount anybody but i'm preparing you in case you are traveling uh, what you can expect it's good to travel travel you learn because most of these things a uh, few years ago my thoughts about some countries was totally different but now I got a concrete version. Uh -huh. Not what I've been filled with, or not what I wanted to believe, but direct antique shop. A lot of Asian thing here. So this is the whole bazaar. It's very big, I guess it's quite big. So you can walk around and visit as much places as you can. And uh, Make some shopping, buy some souvenirs, hangouts. The best food is in this place. Even the best traditional food, this is the right place to get it. I tried it in Okred, in Hohered. I call it Hohered, Ored, because it's O H R O E D. But the locals call it Okred. So it's a kind of sound, there is no C in it. Because if like O C H I. Sorry, O C H. Hello, my friend. How are you? <laughs> Good. Thank you. Thank you for food. No, no problem. It is a, a blessing. Yes. You understand me? What is the essence that I have one euro to give? Or oh, I have 10 euro to give to someone and I keep it myself and someone is hungry or someone is dying? Yes. Selfish. My God will judge me for that. I bet if you got us your case. No problem. Okay. okay. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Take care. Yeah. So. Hey, this is how it is. So, I was a little bit interrupted by the young man, but I, I hope you get it. This is where you can get almost everything traditional and great stuff in this city. It's where I normally have my dinner and also my lunch. They said they want to have a photo with me, okay. Right here? Yeah, let's go like this. Ah, uh, your brother, right? Ah, uh, selfie, selfie. Sel okay, uh, yeah, right. okay. Uh, you from uh, Macedonia? Yes, yes. yes. Uh, okay, what can you tell me about Macedonia? It's a better thing, sir. It's shy, bye-bye. Yeah, shy. And this is also where you can be able to get their traditional rakaya. How do they call it? Rakaya. <laughs> that is the name, I don't know. But that is the name they call it. It's a native uh, uh, alcoholic drink that I said almost each family, each house can be able to do that, have their home. So if you are someone that likes drinking, like alcohol, you can taste it. But for me, is too strong so maybe i can just taste a little uh, too much of it is not good of alcohol is not good but if you just the taste sometime take some like in nigeria it is uh, we have the same also in nigeria yes it's very strong very very strong i don't know which one is the strongest but the one of nigeria is very strong and looks like what it looks like like real uh, like whiskey that is known but hey uh, i think this is also a whiskey but we call it our native language we call it ogoguro <laughs> nigerian man is here he will tell you it's very hard uh, uh, 
if you have a Nigerian person around you, you can ask him and he will explain more to you. He's very strong. So we are in another square, just right at the uh, exit of the old bazaar. And I like their monuments, very unique, unlike other uh, European cities of countries I've traveled to, most of the monuments are very small, small in size, not that big. These ones are giants. Everything here is giant, huge, and I like it that way. I hope you can really see it clearly. It's very, very huge. And it's also a great place to come and hang out, socialize, if you want. If you want to meet some locals, it's also a great place to come and hang out. And uh, towards this direction, about 100 meters from here to 200 meters, we are in the mini square. How huge it is. It's not like most statues or monuments you see regularly. Very huge. And perfectly done. Magnificently constructed. Where is this bridge will walk you down to the main center. Yeah, it's very beautiful. I like it. It's not like what you normally see every time, but I like it. For me, this is one of the most attractive parts in the city, this place. And I like the river side near the river bank, uh, in the river bank. And I like this place because you can walk in the cool evening, it's perfect. When the sun goes down, in the sunset, it's a perfect place to be. Walk around with friends. And this is a museum over here, archaeological museum, I guess. So. If you have more time to go and visit, to learn about the city and the country's history. And it is most time, uh, there is another great museum and there is the National Museum that you can also visit. I don't know if I can be able to visit there because the sun is hot. I'm going to share as much, but I can. This is what I like. So many statues, even down here, that is another statue there. Like a lady swimming with, no, I don't know, diving. It's interesting. We are coming from the whole bazaar this way. And now we are here. At the main square. And along the river side, you can walk down to this area, there is an Irish pub that is there also, famous for most tourists going there to hang out. And also there is a old boat. There is an old boat over there, old uh, like a ship that is built. There is restaurant inside. People fishing there, they so can also fish there. If you have some time, if you are living here <laughs> for, for some time, if you want to go for a fish, you can join the crew, the fishing crew.
So, this square was rebuilt due to the earthquake, the destruction of the city. All this is a makeover from 2014 by the government to give the city and the square, the whole town, a new look, new classical way, you know, erecting important buildings and statues of important personalities to the country and the city as a whole. It is undoubtedly one of the best places. In fact, if not even the best place. For me, personally, this is the best place for me in the city. This area, the main square, and then the bazaar, the old bazaar, and the riverside. When you walk down, it's very beautiful, or you can walk down this way. For me, these are my, for me, these are my most important sites in the city. Oh, they are cleaning the the fountain. Nice. It's very impressive, huh? Very impressive. Those guys are cleaning the fountain. Everything is huge, and I like it. And in this vicinity, there are a lot of, you know, uh, bars, restaurants, and uh, hotels. There's a great hotel here. And this place looks like Arc de Triomphe. <laughs> Little Arc de Triomphe. There, the entrance. This direction looks like a little bit Arc de Triomphe. In this street, there's a lot of shops, bars, pub in this street. City Gallery. This is City Gallery. This place wants to look like a little bit Arc de Triomphe. And, uh, look like the entrance of the old town back in the days. I had, I saw one like this in, uh, in Bucharest also. Hello, taxi. No, not taxi. Vlogging. <laughs> Tourists visiting. Look at these big, elegant, huge monuments. The same everywhere. This is one of the things I like about Some people don't like it. I like the way they make the monuments. Another big monument here. It's all written in the local in the local language, so I cannot be able to know who it really is. Everything is like this back in the days. So hey, let's let's walk to our next destination. It's a small church. I call it the electric church, something like that. Hey, let's go and find out. Hello, how are you? So, this is the street I was telling you about a couple of seconds ago. It leads you directly to the main square. 
and uh, there are bars and uh, coffee shop restaurants in this place. Ah, it's already red. Very fast. A lot of street dogs also here yeah, in Macedonia, just like in Albania. Albania was something else. There's so many street dogs. And they are very friendly as well as here. Yeah, they are not like aggressive like most dogs in some countries. Oh, shoemaker. Oh, I used to see this in my country. In my country, we used to do it. Excuse me. Hello. You do polish shoes? Yes. Oh, nice. Yes. Oh, I will come when I need to polish shoes, I will come. Uh, no problem. Thank you. <laughs> ah, we used to see this in my country. We a lot. Uh, they are making big, huge business with this. Bye-bye. 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 <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hello. Excuse me. Are you from Macedonia? Yeah. Good. I'm YouTuber making some quick uh, interviews and sharing the beauty of your country and your city to my viewers and subscribers all around the world. I don't know if you can be able to share in 30 seconds your opinion. You have exam? I'm sorry. She has homework. Okay. Let me give you my YouTube channel. She has homework, guys. So what do you study? Uh, I'm still in high school. High school? Ah, oh, okay, okay. Your final year exam or something like that? No, thank you. Yeah, this, every country has this playlist. See, we like it. I go around the world. Okay. It's okay? It's great. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> bye-bye. <laughs> She's very friendly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Wow. This is something, something she will get here. The way it is here, man. And this is Mother Teresa house. In memory of her the Nobel Prize winning Catholic norm. Republic of North Macedonia. Memorial House of Mother Teresa Scorpio. So there is also a permanent exhibition that shows the early life of this amazing woman. Her early life. Permanent exhibition sharing with you a hell life. The entrance is free of charge. This is it, inside. Possible? Okay, thank you. So someone said, yes, I can go inside. The entrance is free of charge. Most countries, they will tax you for this. This is the door, the entrance. Wow. Mm. 
Activities, doing many mission, missionary uh, works. Now, where will I will see some of our philanthropic work. Let me see. So, the hope is for church to go and pray. Hope here. Yeah. So you can also visit this place, memorial place, and also pray in the small church inside. Place, space for prayer. The entrance is from this way. You can go out from this way or you can go out like this as well. So you can also take a walk in the riverside and there is a restaurant here. This boat is a restaurant. And look at the view, it's very beautiful. I like this part of the city. It's one of my best parts. That is why I said it, it connects you to the main uh, square also. So this area for me is one of my best parts in the city, if not even the very best. So, yeah. Merci, my frère. Merci, mon frère. So I'm with a, um, a Swiss guy, yeah? We met here, he's a great guy. He's traveling around the world also. <laughs> yeah. another, another great traveler. <laughs> he travels a lot. So this is the opera, yeah? I'm going to share with you the opera. Then we're going to walk down to the museum. And walking along the bridge is very beautiful. They have statues of great personalities of the past in this place which will take us down to the opera in the evening it's colorful with because of the light and we just take you down to where the opera the opera is about less than 100 meters from here I don't know, for me, I like, I like the vibe here. Yeah? I like the way they construct uh, the city. Unlike that of Okrit, they say it's the best in the country. Yeah, to many people, if you are someone who like medieval things, medieval stuff, and also has a lake that makes it a natural lake that is very beautiful. Among all the tourists and even the locals I talk to, many people prefer Okrit because of the, the lake and also some uh, ancient artifacts that are still here. Unlike this city, because it was destroyed because of the earthquake in the past, so that is why everything is being rebuilt neoclassically. And it, for me, it's very beautiful. I like it this way. It is elegant, it is bold. Oh, he's making some sign. Hello, amigo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the amigo is from Swiss, man. 
Parle en français ou pas là-dessus Non. Non, je ne parle. Only in English, you talk. Uh, uh, only in English because of uh, everybody to understand. Okay. Yes. So this is the national opera and ballet. This place does not disappoint. So if you are someone who like opera, you want to participate in some events here, it is one of the best places you can afford to miss. The opera of Scorpio. So there is another museum here. That is just in front of this square. And it's very close to the main square, the other side. When you take the bridges here, when you walk down to the other side, it will lead you to the main square and also to the Mother Teresa house. So this is also a place you can come and learn about the history and of this city and also the country as a whole. And it is in order, in a chronological order. So it's very interesting. So now guys, there is one place I want to share with you, which is also, <laughs> look at the kid. He's, he's taking shower in the fountain. What's up, bro? Cool, and you? I'm fine. Oh, nice. You're yeah, like in the center of Skopje? Yes. The weather is good. Nice. Keeping enjoying the day. Wow. Yeah, I'm with a bro here. Yeah? He's from Swiss. And, Switzerland, uh, the French part. French part. And we're going to ask him to share with us his experience as a foreigner traveling around uh, Macedonia and also a little bit the Balkan state. So, bro, what are your experience like traveling around Macedonia and also Kosovo and other Balkan states? What can you share? No, I think it's a very good place to visit, very cheap, mm. meet great people. It's just the, like a different culture mm -hmm. when you meet people. They are, in Kosovo people are nice, but difficult to talk with girls. Okay. Wow. So how, how if you talk to a girl, how it looks like in Kosovo? They are more shy and more reserved, I think. Okay. Um, but they are pretty. Oh, nice. That's the point. Mm -hmm. oh. And what about, because he was saying that everywhere I go, the people are kind of looking at me as if they have ah, seen yeah. <laughs> Cristiano Ronaldo or Lionel Messi. Or Messi. <laughs> or because you maybe a famous person because you know you're from Africa. I think it's a very good. It's actually very nice because you have from another culture or other country. But here, I think people they are not used to it to to see like a black man. Mm -hmm. So that's why everyone, they are like looking at you like a little bit strange and they think that that you are someone new in the life. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but actually, true. actually it's a very good man. We have a good time. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> I am like uh, from different world. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no. So, you know, this artist sometimes I don't like to share, but he was with me today. Hey, how do you manage to travel like this when everywhere you go, people look at you, some people look at you so good, yeah. some people come very friendly, but most times, many people are very negative. Right? It was at a, how you and they it, like man? looking, looking at you and like a little bit weird and strange. Sometimes it can be difficult mm. when you're alone, traveling, walking in the street. And like old people, they are looking at you like, what the fuck, what happened? <laughs> you, you're just having a good time and try to make friends and talk to people. And sometimes it can be difficult and annoying also. Yeah, Even for right. me, I was in Kosovo. Mm. I was talking to people, but there was like a little bit aggressive and strange to me. Whoa, imagine he is a, a, a white man. <laughs> and uh, he, he said he's in Kosovo, they were kind of looking at him so strange, what the hell this guy is doing here? So, someone like me, that I'm totally, the, it is clear, the identity is clear that I am not from there. So, it, the, the eyes will be like, time is 100. It will be like satellite, whoa! <laughs> Man! <laughs> so, how do you feel when you're walking in the street of Kosovo? 
like because also there it's not a touristic country that's the the point mm -hmm. so you're not gonna see many foreigners many tourists mm. the majority of people they are from Kosovo they are like local people okay mm -hmm. oh. but but yeah it's like uh, there so different the lifestyle mm. I went to talk to a girl it's kind of mm. An adventure, kind of difficult. Difficult. Uh, also, I think the people are very uh, close. conservative yeah, there. Okay. Close-minded. Uh -huh. And also the men are a little bit uh, selfish. Okay. Yeah. What do they do? Like if you know, I, I don't know, but when you go to Kosovo, you can maybe talk to a girl and maybe some men I'm mm. gonna look at you like, what are you doing? What are you looking for? Mm. Oh, something. Like as if it is their business. Yeah, it's like that. <laughs> I think I had some also here. You're gonna be careful there, but you're gonna be alright. Oh, nice. Thank you. Because he is kind of sharing when he met me, he said, hey, man, come on, man. So we had a great time. We have a really just a direct connection. He's a very outgoing guy, a very free person. So I say, we have been together since yesterday, and uh, we are doing very good. So he's sharing a lot with me from his own experience. I've been traveling a lot. I've been to uh, Argentina and other parts of the world. Mm -hmm. I have traveled to at least almost 50 countries. So more than 50 countries, I guess. Yeah, 57. So, 57 countries. So I've been. he has a lot of experience. And he met me also. He said, ah, oh, man, I like your style. But hey, how you manage to cope with this, all this... Uh, attention everywhere you go so i said i'm used to it in albania was the same i told you mm -hmm. there was a, a, a girl an english girl she cannot bear it she has to go back to england she said what the hell is this everywhere you go she, she sometimes she started shouting insulting them when they look at her she started making a, a kind of a, like this <laughs> she's kind of like hey stop looking at me i am not a toy on no, no. <laughs> any play uh, you know anything that, uh, I don't know, a strange, strange look. So she was kind of, I don't know how to express it. She was saying, hey, don't look, at, don't look at me like this. Like you haven't seen a, a black person before. I don't know where you come from. You come from a bush or where, where are you from? So she was terrified. She was really, really terrified. So mm -hmm. she has to go back and she has gone, gone back to, to England. So, and yeah, when I came down here, it's a little bit okay, but also yeah, a lot of looks. Then there was one guy that was fooling himself since when I came in. He first called me, he said, he said he's from originally from Albania. And I said, what the hell, what do I have to do? You are introducing yourself to me that I, I have nothing to do with it. So then I was making some interviews, just exactly like this place. I was making some interviews, get this guy again from out of nowhere in the night. It seems like he's following me. Mm -hmm. It seems like he is following me. And this morning again, I passed through where he was there the first time I met him. He, make, he tried to call me. I said, you are stupid. And the girls insult him because he was disturbing and he was, it seems like he was insulting me. And the guests there on his uh, original, uh, they are originally Albanians. They are Albanian, I bet they, they are Macedonians, but yeah. they were born here. So they were insulting the guy, and it was kind of a shame. It was a pity for me to look, look at where the girl put him in his place. It was alone sitting down there. He tried to like uh, insult me or try to want to belittle me, but he was uh, dealing with the wrong person. At the end of the day, we walk away. The girl said, "Please go, go, go." There. I go away. I just guide the girls, and we walk away from him. So it was a pity, but most people are also very nice and very friendly. Yeah. But as a black person, if you want to travel like the way I do, you have to Sometimes it can be yeah, an adventure, maybe difficult. Yes. Also, I'm like the kind of person who I like to talk, I like to meet friends, People, yeah. have connection. Yeah, it's normal. So, guys, this is some of the simple things, some of the things that we really encounter on the way as a traveler when you have decided to visit different countries and learn from different people you have to ready we are doing this we are saying this it's not that to condemn anybody or 
that to uh, talk bad about the country. But hey, we are giving you the reality, what is on ground, you understand me? So that whenever you are visiting these countries, you know what to expect and how life a little bit like in that very place. So this is the reason, is to better prepare you mentally, psychologically. So when you visit there, you know what to expect. Because every country have its own way of doing things. We are not here to judge anybody, but we are, the reason why we are sharing I am sharing this and he is sharing this. I invite him to please share with us is to better help one another to expect to uh, like to be to prepare mentally when you are traveling to these places. So this is my goal. My goal is not to talk bad about person but just to prepare you mentally. Hello, <laughs> smiling. In front of us is the castle. So I don't know if I can be able to go there. I'm a little bit tired. If you can be able to go, you can walk around it. And from up, you can also take great pictures of the city. So it's also interesting. But I'm looking, I'm taking you guys to the national park. This is the castle in front of us. Oh, the sun is just on my face. Castle is there. If you have more energy, I'm a little bit adjusted. I don't think if I will go there. Let me first share with you the park first. The national park. Then if I have more strength, then I'm going to go up there. To share with you how it looks from the hub and it will be very beautiful at this moment with the sunset more beautiful the sun is just on my face hey this is Skolte the capital of North Macedonia yeah man I love places like this you see that this is my best part in any city Whenever they have places like this, waterside and parks together, benches where you can be able to sit and relax, even make a picnic. I love it. I love it. It's my best place in the city. There is a lot of people down down there. I don't know what they are doing. It seems like they are doing a marathon or I don't know. A lot of people over there. It's difficult for you to see it clearly because my GoPro, the zoom is not that strong. If not, I would have loved to zoom it. We see there are a lot of people over there and people, I think they are doing sports. And it's very beautiful up there. There is a cross the, on top of the, the mountain. 
So not a great view if you can hike up to that area. If you have more energy, <laughs> ah, it will be also a great experience because the country is filled with a lot of mountains. So if you are someone who like hiking, it's a, also a paradise for you. This country is also a paradise for you. I don't know where it is, but it seems like uh, a government house, a lot of, uh, I think, police, secret agency, uh, secret agents are around this place. I think it's a government house here. And also cameras, like television or just a normal camera, I don't know, in front of us. And there are a lot of police or security, security agencies. A lot of them out there as well. Look at it. Hey, my people from Skolpe, if you know this place, share with us where it is. Hello. Excuse me, how are you? Who are you, footballer? Yeah, yeah. Uh, new uh, Pandev? Yeah. The new Pandev? New Pandev. Pandev? Pandev? No, Pandev. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. What's the Rabotnitsky? Rabotnitsky. Rabon. Rabotnitsky. Rabotnitsky. Okay. Yeah. I am YouTuber. I look for National Park. National Park. Yeah, National Park? Yeah. Uh, like this straight? National Park. Yes. Uh, 500 meters from here? Yeah, 500 meters and uh, right. Okay, 500 meters right. Right. Go. Uh, straight, straight, straight. Straight, straight, straight. <coughs> 500 meters, yeah, and. Uh, traffic right. lights, traffic yeah. lights, yeah, then yeah. right. Okay, thank you. Your YouTube? Channel? Okay, Joel Tamara, Joel Tamara, this. Joel Tamara, Tamara Joel, you get me. <laughs> yeah, this. Every I country. see you, you are. Yeah, yes, yeah, you are right in YouTube, man. Thank you. <laughs> bye bye. bye, -bye. bye. <laughs> uh, yeah, I forget to ask the guys where is this, but I think it's like it's a government house. Got a lot of police in here and protection. I think it's a government house. Hello. How are you? This is a government house? Eh? No. Thank you. Very friendly. So I think this is a government house. <laughs> I'm he's a journalist like me. I am asking him question and he tells me, go. Journalist. <laughs> I don't know what kind of journalist is that. Journalist mindset very close. I would have loved to see how he do his journalism work. Museum of Natural Science. I think it's from front there. I think this is a government, yeah, a government house. If you see, I don't know if you guys can be able to see the way he reacted. Journalist. I was surprised. And this is the kind of people that are biased journalists. They are not doing a proper journalism work. They are biased people. And when them, hello, excuse me. Are you from uh, Macedonia? Yes. Good. Um, I'm a YouTuber, I'm coming to share the beauty of your city. Okay. <laughs> to my viewers all around the world. I don't know if you'd like to share with me what is unique about this place we are. This is Central Park. There's a playground for kids and there's the old park. Okay. Where all the people are gathering to the weekend. Okay. This is, this is here. You've been in the center of the city? Yes, I'm yes. coming from there. Okay. Oh, you're okay. camera shy. <laughs> So I think there is here yeah, also there are a lot of discotheque, uh, nightlife in this no, place. You have here one street, it's called 
Bethlehem Street. Okay. It's only with um, not uh, with the restaurants to eat and uh, Macedonian classic music. No, not classic, but uh, country music. Yes, Something Macedonian like music. It's uh, uh, the opposite of the this side. To the, yes, okay. To the left side. So. When you finish here, we can go to take a bike there. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it, it, it's uh, important? Yes, yes, yes. We have a very beautiful Macedonian grill. Oh, okay, grill, okay. Yes, grill. Macedonian oh. salad also. Okay. Some dishes that are special, uh, special in, uh, in Macedonia, like kaivar, pinjur, something like that with... Uh, with uh, uh, tomato. <laughs> tomato, okay. Piperka. Oh. <laughs> yes. Nice, nice. Oh. Enjoy, this is the main stadium here. Okay, this is the stadium here, yeah. okay. Yes. So, the stadium of Skopje is over here. There's a great street over here, as the lady I've already shared with us. She's a little bit camera shy, which is normal, not everybody can do it. It's understandable. Then the stadium is here. The park is just here. So, it is also a great place you need to know about the city if you are staying here for at least more than a week or even a week. Like, example, if you are here during when the weather is very hot, it is better you, you know places like this to come and hang out. Hey, so before I was interrupted, I saw the lady. I was sharing that these are the, concerning the journalists, these are the kind of people that are biased, that do running biased journalism because the mentality I saw in his body language, go, wow, go. Where is this? It's a simple question I ask, where, where is this? And the only answer, go, with closed body language. Whoa, 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 journalism. Hello, <laughs> kind of looking at me. <laughs> The first time they see him, they're kind of looking, they get a kind of talking, say, who is this guy? <laughs> so, hey, this is the real problem of this world, misinformation by the mindset of some people for their own ego. How can a journalist of that kind have that kind of mindset and okay now when they want to interview some people when people don't want to interview when they some people or some personality did that to them they will start talking about it but there is nobody nobody i just say hey excuse me where is this go comment below what do you think about the reaction of that journalist or television cameraman. I am Joel Tamara. If you like my videos, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification so you will get notified of my upcoming videos as I take you to every country on head. Until then, have a wonderful and inspiring day. Bye-bye.